Kennesaw State 26 and 9 a Sun champions they raised the banner earlier this week after a 93 46 demolition of Oakwood the vibes are high for Kennesaw State and those Owls. Florida State trying to rebound. Damon Robinson wins the tip. Welcome back, college basketball. And it's Terrell Burton who has the basketball here on the drive, deflected out of bounds. He's joined by Simeon Connell, can really shoot it. Damon Robinson, one of the best players in the A Sun, Jamel King, and Frank Juan Sherman. And that play right there, Ari, is where the Seminoles will cause the Owls trouble all night. They have elite length with their guards. Look for them to intercept passing lanes all night. Here is Simeon Cottle. Rotated around. Three ball in the air quickly. No good. Rebound long. Beyond the arc is to the Owls. Second chance opportunity. Something that was a key for Antoine Petway. Turning the ball over was a key for Leonard Hamilton. Knowles want to run. They do this well. Here is... Cam Corin flips it up and in. Knowles strike first here in tally. Elite scoring on the outside for either team, but Cam Corin's another name to watch tonight. He could have a big game if he asserts himself early down low. On the other end, stripped away. Here come the Knowles. Miller on the push. Worley quickly hacked across the arm. He'll head to the line for two. We're running and gunning already, but here's Cam Corin. Backing down his man, found a lot of success down in the paint, but also a big man that can stretch it and shoot from the perimeter. Borley, the junior from Philadelphia. Really good assist to turnover ratios one year ago. A former top 50 recruit. Knocks down the first Florida State leads by three. Second one good as well. Florida State last season, seven and 13 in the ACC. One of the worst defensive teams in the conference. They're hoping, like Alex said, that depth allows them to play full length into the shot clock and be able to refresh those legs. You get back into the Coach Hamilton system where guys can give their all for four minutes and bring on three to four guys at a time. On the drive, the follow and the flush. How about Damon Robinson? Another guy, maybe an A-Sun snub last the season, a great season a year ago for the Owls. First all-time at Kennesaw State in field goal percentage. He holds that school record. 4-2, early action from Tallahassee. Worley trying to take Burton inside. The basket is good, and the foul, hooping a harm for Worley, who's aggressive early. Really what you want to see from Jalen Worley attacking the basket. Has started to develop the three-point shooting, but get downhill, putting his shoulder in the defender. Good body control, gets the bucket. Four early points for Worley. Misses that one. Now the Owls want to run. Burden can really scoop. On the drive, oh, the flush! Frank Juan Sherman! Oh my goodness, Sherman, the freshman. A little energizing boost there for Antoine Petway's Owl. Six to four. Knowles trying to respond. Miller, three, rattles out. Rebound to Cottle. On the attack, ball nearly stolen away. And you see Warley again intercepting the passing lanes, but first, let's take a look. That slam, Franquan Sherman. My goodness, with the left hand. But you see, the Kennesaw State Owls want to run. They're gonna grab a rebound, get an inbound, and look to get it up the floor with pace. Three ball rattles out, now Florida State leading by two. Here's Watkins, the VCU transfer to the Spaniard Miller. Miller has that versatility, you see the mismatch. Foul on the floor. That is already the third team foul on Kennesaw State. Something to keep an eye on. The Owls calling, thinking Baba might have wrapped his arm around the defender. Looking for Florida State. 
go three against Kennesaw State, but that's what you cannot get into is foul trouble. Foul was given to Sherman, who had that flush. Aggressive dunk on the other end. Kennesaw State last season, first time they made the NCAA tournament. Nearly beat Xavier, a game that went down to the wire. Green Jr. can really shoot it, and he buries the three. That's what he does best. Number 300 for Darren Green in his career. One of the best in the country. Oh, Corin said no way. In transition, Watkins picked up his dribble turnover. And now maybe the Owls can run. Pass too hot for Sherman. All right, we're three minutes in. This game is high flying, high paced. Both of these teams are so similar in that regard. Love to get out and run. And that man loves to get out and shoot. And how about the block from Corin? Aggression at the rim. By the way, shout out to Darren Green Jr., career number 300 on triples. Again, one of the best shooters in the country, Darren Green Jr., told us earlier this week, I played so many minutes last season, I feel like this year, with the extra depth, I can be a little bit better, a little bit more efficient. How about that block? What a play by King. In the corner, swung around. King now wants a three of his own, no good. Offensive rebound, stick back, count it. That is Ron G. Jordan. And that's a key to watch tonight. Whoever can win the battle on the glass. Florida State was a problem last year. Losing the battle on the offensive glass. Now we'll try to capitalize. Four in good positioning. Could not finish with the little hook, the turnaround. Three offensive rebounds already for Kennesaw State. Burden, three ball, no good. Into the hands of a teammate. Green saves it out of bounds. Florida State. Leading by three, under 16 minute mark now of the first half. Here's Green Jr. Already has one dribble. Pull up, Jay, mid range. Bang. Silky. Darren Green getting his defender to hesitate. Hit him from three, can hit him from the mid range as well. On the drive the other way. Burden can't finish through contact. On the other end, three ball, nope, Green doesn't shoot it. Now one dribble, fire off to the right. And the rebound to Kennesaw State. Here's Burden, one of the best players in the Atlantic Sun a season ago, foul calls. It'll take us to our first media timeout while Florida State leads by five. Darren Green Jr., the pull, and Terrell Burden. I mean, Jack, those are two players, two of the top three returning scorers are back. Two of the best players in the A-Sun, and the coaches voted this offseason that Terrell Burden is the player they all fear the most. And you'll see it tonight, his handles through the lane and ability to create for his teammates. He's got that quick first step. And Amon Robinson again, another. Aaron Green got two freebies. I'm gonna try and confirm if that was a technical foul that was issued before the media timeout. Believe that to be the case. Florida State gets two free throws. Out of it, Green connects. And now, it'll be Kennesaw State basketball. Great pressure defense on the out-of-bounds play by FSU leads to a timeout. You go back to Kennesaw State, Aria. I think one of the key things that we all saw in talking... The cereals you love, now with two times the vitamin D. 13-6, Florida State leads 15-23 mark here. And Oles have been active on the defensive end. Chandler Jackson did not play in the exhibitions. Battling an injury this summer as well. In there, the Christian Brothers Academy products. Now a foul burden clipped by Josh Nickelberry. He transferred from LaSalle. A-10, sixth man of the year. Yeah, both of those names are yeah, exciting for the Seminoles. Chandler Jackson, just a bulldog at that point. Position can do it all offensively and defensively. And Nickelberry, from behind the arc, can shoot with anyone. A couple of new looks, set some new nose. Deontay Green as well. Cameron Fletcher.
Taylor Bolpo, a nice running floater there by number five, Simeon Cottle, 6'2", sophomore from College Park, Georgia. South side of Atlanta. Cottle got his first start of the season last week versus Oakwood. He's playing with so much confidence, you can see it. That is career high a few days ago. Here's Taylor Bolbo in a top 100 recruit for Florida State. Long and lengthy athletic. Now Fletcher back from an injury a season ago. Not able to connect from that deep ball there. Bolbo in long arms, the rebound. Oh, but he went out of bounds. Oh, looked like a good hustle play from Bolbo. And just unfortunate for the freshman to step on the line. But how about Cottle? Cool, calm, and collected right past his defender. Makes it look easy. Simeon Cottle, an outstanding first game in Atlanta on Tuesday. Alex, what you got? Well, we talked about how Coach got his players bought in. He said Simeon Cottle is one of those guys that just has infectious energy. He's one of the main guys that helped the other guys acclimate to a new coach. And Coach is just so thankful to have a guy like him. He fired off a three there, Alex. Could not connect in the traveling violation on number 25, Ron G. Gordon. And you saw flashes with Cottle a season ago. Had seven points in six minutes. And Kennesaw State's lost to Xavier in the tournament. And then comes out against Oakwood. Firing on all cylinders. 16 points for the sophomore. Nickelberry goes down. Tripped up. No call. Out of bounds. Turnover. Great pressure defense there by Kennesaw State. Yeah, Kennesaw State starting to settle in a little bit. We saw that first three to four minutes of the game. A lot more fast pace, high tempo. Kennesaw State wants to play in transition, and this half court is where they can cause some problems with Florida State's length on the defensive end. R.J. Johnson all blocked out of bounds by Deontay Green. 6'9", sophomore from Asheville, North Carolina. Florida State protecting the rim well so far in the first half. And that's going to be a big question for the Seminoles. No Jalen Gainey. Still working his way back from an injury. But both Deontay Green and Cam Corn are going to have to step up underneath and be rim protectors for the Seminoles. Cottle off the dribble. Great defense from Fletcher. Cottle shot no good. Rebound at the free throw line by Nickelberry. Seminoles want to run. Nickelberry, three in the air. No good. Rebound to a lot of bodies hitting the floor. Jump ball coming. Possession arrow staying with Florida State. How about the energy so far in this building? Yeah, the energy in the tuck has been great for both sides, but that's a big play right there, Aria, for the Seminoles. Already six offensive rebounds for the Owls. That's the first for Florida State. They're going to have to win that battle. They're going to stay ahead in this game. Jackson working against Johnson. 49 and 1 in high school. A state finals. Mr. Tennessee, the floater not gonna fall. Long rebound to Burden, and then a foul called on Taylor Bull Bowen. Bull Bowen just trying to stop and slow down the break. You see Terrell Burden gets the ball, hits the Jets. He's looking to send it the other way right away. Already Florida State Jack has played 10 guys. Back to that old depth. They can go 12 deep when they're at their best. Yeah, Coach Ham's got to be happy. That's what we said prior. They can play guys for three to four minutes at max capacity. They can give all the effort and really put teams on their heels. They're forcing turnovers early in this game. Leading by five. Fletcher on the leaner. That rims out. Rebound to the Owls. Adam McCoy ripping it down. Now... What can Kennesaw State do to respond? You see those long arms, that ball pressure from Florida State causing a lot of issues. That's where it will be trouble for the Owls in this half court. Florida State creating this man-to-man -man defense. Makes it almost look like a zone. Foul calls on Florida State. It'll be on Deontay Green, his first. Florida State's team, but fourth foul. Stop. 
Burden played just 10 minutes in the season opener, scoring six points against Oakwood. Battling a bit of an injury on the scoop and the score. That's pretty. That is Terrell Burden for you right there. So crafty with the ball in his hand, splits the defender, scoops it up and in. Burden top 10 in Kennesaw State history for points in a career. Nickelberry firing a three and connecting. That's what the transfer does well at six games a season ago with six plus three pointers. He can shoot it with just about anyone from three point land. Pull up jumper for the response is good. Nice looking stroke there from Adam McCoya. Adam McCoya, another one. Coach Petway said to look out for this season. Pretty feet inside, green, too strong, and he'll have one more. Beautiful feet inside, Chandler Jackson. Florida State happy to have him back to for this year's preseason picks. It'll be a fun team to watch under head coach Antoine Petway. You see some similarities with Petway and where he came in Alabama under head coach Nate Oates. An offense in Alabama that's been fueled by transition. Alabama, the Crimson Tide, they've consistently been in the top ranks in the country in terms of tempo on the offensive end. You've already seen it here tonight. The Owls like to get out and run. And the best part with head coach Antoine Petway, he gives the green light to his shooters. You see, there's no, no one's afraid to let a shot go. Drive to the cup, draw some fouls. Green on the miss, Cottle looking for the alley-oop, just a little too heavy. It's been active energy here for Kennesaw State. That's gonna belong to FSU, but I look at the rebounding margin right now, plus eight. For Kennesaw State, they have six offensive rebounds. Florida State has seven total rebounds. That's one of the keys right there. Kennesaw State winning that battle on the glass, and especially those second chance points. It's a good rebound to Kennesaw State team. Miller, Warley. Taking Burton all the way to the rack, missed the finish. Corin on the follow. Not able to connect through some contact, and then Worley guilty of a foul running into Burden. Talk about that rebounding margin. 64 rebounds by this Kennesaw State team on Tuesday night, and that set a program record. Not too bad, 64 rebounds. Already off to a hot start tonight, but fortunate for Florida State. Losing that battle, still up early. Green Jr. has seven points to lead FSU. Six different players for Kennesaw State with two points apiece. See right right here's Burton so quick with it. High off the glass. No good. Rebound to Corin. Florida Bob State likes to switch everything. Baba Miller right on Bird and we'll take it the other way. Watkins, a star in the two exhibition games for Florida State last week. To Darren Green Jr. who connects on the mid-range J. Great to see Darren Green Jr. coming out three of four from the field. Shooting well. Cottle against Miller. Rotated around. Here's Burden. Now Adam McCoya off to the right. Long rebound this time. Brought down by Watkins. He's fouled by Cottle. That is the sixth team foul on Kennesaw State. Here's Darren Green doing what he does best. Has such a dangerous three-point shooter as he is. Keeps the defender on his heels, able to get that first step past him. Pull up for the mid-range. Something he was working on in the offseason. Darren Green becoming more efficient off the dribble, off the bounce. He's known for pro prolific shooting from deep. You mentioned it, Aria, 34 minutes a game a season ago for Green. Now this year, limit those minutes a little bit more, but create more opportunities. Hope to even raise that percentage as the season goes on. Watkins connects now. Corin in transition. Heady play by Burton to rip it down. What does 
Watkins bring to the table for Florida State? Shamir Watkins is a forward that can play guard. He's got that point forward tendency, elite length as well. He played a little point guard in the exhibition match for Florida State versus Valdosta State. He's a Swiss Army Knight. Really play everywhere on the court. You see his numbers a season ago at VCU. A great addition for the Seminoles. VCU team that made it back to the NCAA tournament going 27 and 8. Watkins choosing Florida State over the summer. Miller tees up a three in and out. Rebounds. King snatches it out of the sky. And now to Cottle. He's not shy and he buries. There's the green light and the confidence. No hesitation. Simeon Cottle says, why not? Four of them against Oakwood on Tuesday night for Cottle. Cuts that lead to seven. Not before Baba Miller on a pretty turnaround. A stoppage of play. Looks like Jamie Lucky is telling Anto Antoine Petway's bench. It's a warning, it seems. Already been teched in this game has been Kennesaw State. Just shows the energy, though. That's what they want to play with, this whole Kennesaw State roster. You see it already, bringing the energy, the passion. And a lot of fight these Owls got. Johnson, Cottle, five points already. Cottle trying to show off the strength in the air. Can't connect foul on the rebounds. And now the Knowles will be at the charity stripe. Into the bonus goes Florida State for the one and one. That's big for Florida State. Only already eight minutes remaining in this first half. Knowles in the bonus. Part of what makes Florida State so great over the years has been creating turnovers. Last season, it dipped middle of the pack in the ACC at forcing turnovers already. Seven forced turnovers have turned into four points for FSU, but you're seeing them limit possessions for Kennesaw State. Yeah, Coach Ham must have been happy even in their exhibition match, forcing over 20 turnovers. Then, now tonight, it just shows that length and how they play defense. They switch on everything. It's that junkyard defense. They're going to get after you. They're going to get after the ball and make it hard for teams to press. Green splits the free throws. Knowles by 10. Three ball in the air for Robinson. No good. Another offensive rebound. Stick back. Not there. Rebound to Watkins. And now the forward wants to push. Watkins, the redshirt junior from Trenton, New Jersey. One of the best players in the state of New Jersey. Miller shuffled his feet. No call. Threw some contact as well. Now a foul. Will that be on FSU? It will. It'll be on Bob Miller. Baba Miller trying to back down into the post is what he can do well. Good play, RJ Johnson. Just getting a hand in, making it hard for the sophomore Spaniard, making him uncomfortable down low. The Owls will take it the other way. Kennesaw State, seven turnovers, shooting just 29% from the floor. Florida State's done a pretty good job defensively so far in this first half. Again, the Owls, who scored 93 points on Tuesday night against Oakwood as Cottle got hung up in the air. Now Gordon working against Miller. Robinson, righty hook counted. It's a good little move from DeMond Robinson. Man, he's done a lot of work in the offseason to expand his game, now becoming a perimeter shooter as well. Two threes against Oakwood, but also can showcase it down low where he found a lot of success a season ago. Dropped 30 pounds this offseason. That ball scoots out of bounds. Turnover on FSU intended for Corin. And it's 25-17. Seminoles shooting decently. NCAA tournament, and he is hopeful for that this season. His head coach, Leonard Hamilton, said if Darren sees orange, he has the green light to fire it away. That's what he's on this court to do, yeah. is to hit from deep. He's, he's always got the green light for Darren Green Jr. Darren Green, career high of 30 points against St. John's last season in the Orange Bowl Classic. Transferred from UCF, so he leads all scorers with 10. Knowles by 8. Activity level on defense has been through the roof from FSU. Having the depth to be able to run the type of defense a Leonard Hamilton team wants to run, you can see it causing problems for a Kennesaw State team that wants to get to the basket and then shoot threes. On the other end, how about Nickelberry showing the finish? That's some no after two. 
Mod Robinson straight up and Nickelberry, what a finish. Seminoles re-extend the lead by 10 on the other end. The three ball up in the air. No, Robinson offensive rebound fouled. On the floor, that is the seventh team foul on FSU. Now both teams in the bonus. Yeah, Josh Nickelberry right to the cup. Look at the body control in the air to hang just for a second and up off the glass. Good play from the transfer. Points out, Aria, Kennesaw State, one of 10 from behind the arc with 36% versus Oakwood. That's what head coach Antoine Petway says. He likes his team to be able to shoot the three, have the confidence. It's hard to stay in the game when you're one of 10 so far. Antoine Petway going to be relying on Damon Robinson to get his team back in the ball game. The former Murray State racer. Famous alum, John Morant, of course. Robinson comes in thinking that he could be one of the most dominant players, not just in his conference, but in the country. And you see the size, 6'9", 235. We mentioned he's dropped 30 pounds, trying to get in better shape. And he said, look, I feel great. The, <laughs> the lighter weight has had me moving at a level I've never done before. Yeah, he feels great and he looks great. You said it, he can move so differently now. It allows him to stretch his game out of the perimeter and it makes it so much harder to defend him when you know he's not just gonna be in the post, he can also back you out and shoot it from behind the arc. Six points, four rebounds now. Green light, Darren Green can't make it. Tried to race it down. Knowles do get a second chance. Now Fletcher, how about that move on the baseline drive? Well, first, that's what you wanna see from Darren Green following your shot. This is the basis, but Cameron Fletcher seemed like he was just starting to come on last season as he got injured. Big bucket. Another second chance coming now for Kennesaw State. Here's Robinson. Johnson fires. Air ball. Trying to throw it off of Darren Green Jr. Could not do it. Was Gordon. Now Florida State can run in transition pass. Intended for House. Intercepted. One on one. Layup. At the rim, count it for Cuddle. Check that, that's Johnson, RJ Johnson, the freshman from Huntsville, Alabama, top 100 recruit, a four star player as Corin responds. Yeah, Johnson, the number one player out of Alabama, originally supposed to go to Alabama, now coming with Coach Petway to Kennesaw State. You just look at him, he's almost built like a running back in a way, but he's got the ability to get above the rim and also expand his game and shoot some threes as well. That time it was Cottle indeed on the floater. Eight point advantage. Johnson a big piece. Fletcher firing a three. That one's short. Foul called there for more on Johnson. We bring back Alex. Guys, I talked to Coach Petway about what it took to recruit a guy like R.J. Johnson. He said it was just the relationship. He is what you see. He wants you to be real with him. They got really tight, and that's where getting him was huge because he knew he was going to make such a difference for this Kennesaw State team. Now, without a doubt, and you know what he did? He punctuated it with a top 10 Sports Center dunk on Tuesday night, number six, when Owls fans woke up on Wednesday morning. I'd say it's a pretty good way to start your career entering in the top 10 on ESPN in the next day with a slam. But I love that, especially what just Alex just said. He's a no-ego player. He just wants to learn and get better. That's the type of player Coach Petway wants to have and the culture that he wants to build. That one missed the mark by a long shot. The lefty trigger by Adam Akoya. House, the birthday boy, a birthday three. It's got to be better on your birthday, right? You can hear the PA announcer yell out, it's his birthday. Tom House turning 20 years old. Hits his first shot attempt of the evening. Nice response by Johnson. Big response from Johnson. Starting to heat up a little bit is the freshman. Seminoles offense has heated up as well. Five for the last seven from the floor. Darren Green Jr. Count it. The foul, all three of those for Darren Green Jr. Oh, look at that shot, Darren Green. What he does best is to see this pit high ball screen right there. A little confusion from the Owls trying to go underneath. Just creates a little bit of separation. That's all he needs, enough 
for the sharpshooter. Uncanny ability to let it fly from beyond the arc. He has 13 to lead all scorers. The former UCF transfer looking for the four point play, could not connect. How about Fletcher? The activity on the O boards. House, another three. Kennesaw State. Happy birthday, Tom House. Not one, but two. The rest of his teammates, we chatted with a couple of them. The culture of this team, the camaraderie, much stronger than it was a season ago. They all said we're much closer. We trust each other even more than we did. They think that's going to help them getting back to old school Florida State and the way that they love each other in the program. Absolutely. I think what stood out the most to Oreos when we got to check out their shoot around pregame and the energy that they brought, especially from Cam Fletcher, who's going to be a veteran leader on this team this season. Every single player seemed like smiles weren't leaving their faces. They were yelling. They were all in it together. How about House? Why not? Three triples blow out the candles. The tuck is rocking for House. And quickly trying to silence was Johnson. How strong is he to the rim? I said it before, how he's built. He's able to put his shoulder down and go right into a defender. Makes it so hard down the lane to get up and block that shot. Interior feed to Fletcher, intercepted by Johnson. On the feed, swing pass, active defense from Green, gets a deflection out of bounds. How to look. In transition, Darren Green, the same spot, little deja vu for Tom House. He likes that side. Already three. Now a career high, again, tying with those nine points. There must be something about season openers. And he's going to get a lot of congratulations as he heads to the bench. Great ovation. Florida State's already played 11 guys in this game so far. Feels far more vintage FSU. That shot going to miss the mark short. Knowles want to run. Great outlet pass. Fletcher in the open court. Lefty layup. No good. He's going to the line for two on the foul. It was Johnson. Yeah, you said vintage FSU playing 11 guys and getting out on the run. Cameron Fletcher able to get to the cup and drop out. Cameron Fletcher from St. Louis began his career at Kentucky. He has healed ever so quickly from a torn ACL against Virginia. Early December last season, in about eight months, he was ready to rock and roll. Fletcher said the hardest part has been just trusting that his knee was going to be okay. He said, look, I feel 100% again. I trust my skills. I know I'm a good basketball player. It's making sure that I trust that this knee has recovered fully. Yeah, and I think he's slowly going to find that again. I said it before, those last couple games before he got injured, it seems like he was really finding his stride and showing that Cam Fletcher that was recruited to Kentucky. Now he's going to find it again for the Seminoles and again be a veteran leader in presence for Florida State. Started to improve his outside shot as well from beyond the arc. You see that career timeline there for Cameron Fletcher, a foul called on the floor. Again, so the Knowles will hope to get Fletcher back up to basketball shape. He looks to be in solid shape so far. He's on the bench. Does have four points, a rebound and assist already tonight. Yeah, an incredible rebounder as well. He excelled at that a season ago, but Aria said it in that shoot around. It was Cam Fletcher. I don't think a, the smile left his face the entire time. He was bringing the energy for the teammates. You could really see him being a leader. Here's Terrell Burton. Two points, couple of assists, knocks down the free throw. Burton, the A Sun Tourney MVP last year, hitting that game winning free throw to send Kennesaw State to the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history. Knocks them both down. Keeps Kennesaw State within striking distance. Latter stage of this first half. It's been all Florida State so far in the early stanza. Especially how they like to play and get out in transition. They can change it over quick. Ball Bowen lines up a three. That one rims in and out. Hit every piece of iron. 
Cole Bowen, another 6'10 freshman, but has that ability to get out to the perimeter and shoot the three, makes it hard to defend. How about that jump ball? Forced by Chandler Jackson, strong hands. You see the build there from Jackson. A boxy body, knows how to use it well, especially on the attack. One of the better defenders on this FSU team as well. He got injured last year too. Missed a handful of games early, had to play some games with a cast on his hand, never really got into the flow of it until late in the season where he started having some big games. Yeah, he just brings a presence a little different than a Jalen Worley or a Jameer Watkins with the length that they bring, but it's the energy, defensive presence again for Chandler Jackson. He's not going to lay off you. He's going to be on it all times, not just defensively, but on the offensive end as well. Some people in this program believe he has some of the same traits that a Trent Forrest once had here in Tallahassee. Burden on that drive, it's bouncing around. Green able to save it before it goes out of bounds, but it's intercepted by the smallest guy on the court. Knocked into the seminal bench, it'll remain Owls basketball. That's what you love to see from Terrell Burden, the hustle. As I said already, the ASUN tournament MVP a season ago. And head coach Petway said he's as good as any point guard I coach. One of the best guards in the ASUN this season. Cottle attacks, layup no, Green clings the glass. Into the hands of Watkins, pushed up ahead to Jackson. Jackson flying in, fouls. Must have been some body before the block from Gordon. Yeah, the Owls couldn't believe it. Jackson going hard at him, a little hand contact. They got him on the wrist. Jackson to the line for a couple of free throws. Ten points in Florida State's win at Miami last season that ended in that Matt Cleveland buzzer beating Heave. Seven points, nine assists, shows off his ability to create for his teammates against Syracuse late in the year. Yeah, he can do it on both sides. And again, another player that brings it back to Coach Ham's system and the ability to run 10, 11, 12 guys at all times. You look right now, Florida State has Jackson and Worley on the floor at the same time. A unique look, extra ball handling, allowing Florida State to play small. Gordon, three ball, he missed that by a ton. Oh my goodness, ball Bowen. Corrals up ahead to Worley in transition now. Jackson had an ocean to shoot now to Bull Bowen. A talented freshman to a sophomore. And over to Worley. 15 on that shot clock. Jackson calls his own number for three. Left it short rebound. Robinson, his sixth rebound of the game. And Cottle. Step back, Jay is pure from beyond the arc. There's that confidence, takes it up himself. The rest of his teammates back down the floor, decides to take a little step back, swish. He's into double figures now with 10 points, a pair of triples. Two of 15 from three, are the out. Watkins, that won't fall, grabs his own miss. Floater, that one also short. A third opportunity, and Jackson's three rims out. Lots of Seminoles crashing the glass, foul, cold. It'll be a one and one for King on the other end. Love to see the hustle from either side. How about Simeon Cotto? Little fake hesitation, step back, straight through the net. Simeon Cottle, the energizer bunny per his head coach, Anton Petway. We asked him earlier this morning, we said, hey, what's your role on this team? He said, I bring energy and I get buckets. Certainly got a bucket right there. I mean, this is a guy that scored 51 points in a high school game with no free throws whatsoever. He's a guy that can score on all levels. And to pair him up now with a Terrell Burden, with the confidence that he's playing with, it'll be deadly for the Owls down the road. And so at the line, it'll be Jamel King, the 6'7", junior transfer from West Virginia. Had a nice debut on Tuesday night with 13 against Oakwood for these Kennesaw State Owls. He knocks down the first. Jamel 
King, another one of those transfers. That'll be key for Antoine Petway this season. A cool story with them, too. He played, Petway played with King's uncle at Alabama. When they played in the early 2000s, Erwin Dudley was the SEC player of the year, the best man at his wedding. And now gets his nephew on his team in Kennesaw. Petway wants a stop to try and end this half for Kennesaw State. This has been a frenetic pace. We are on track for over 80 possessions in this basketball game. It's Not surprising with what Florida State wants to do and Antoine Petway being a disciple of Nate Oates. Worley with five on the shot clock. Green with three, green with two. Buzzer beating heave and he buries it. A dagger in the Owls' hearts. And was a technical foul just called on Kennesaw State as well. No, it was not just a timeout. Roger Ayers, they've impressed here in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, shooting well. And again, as we've been saying this entire half, getting back to vintage Florida State style basketball, pushing the tempo. But most importantly, defense that creates offense. They're getting in the passing lane and in turn getting down to the other end and getting some buckets. Shot clock is off, Burden with three. Right at the end of the half, loses the basketball with one second out of bounds. It belongs to Florida State, point seven on the clock. Yeah, Burden calling for the fouls. What he does, he's slicing and dicing through the lane, cutting through defenders, just a little too much. Not able to keep control, just under a second for Florida State. Ball bowing to Worley, not enough time to let her rip. Came oh so close, wouldn't have counted. And at the half, Florida State leading Kennesaw State by 15. Jack the Knowles did it with defense. They did it with defense. Nothing crashing the glass. One, two, three players at a time. We're making it difficult for Kennesaw State to find that success, but also just get it out in the transition quickly. Leonard Hamilton told us earlier this week he thought this could be one of his better perimeter shooting teams that he's had in a few years. He said the number of options we have that can beat you from beyond the arc has increased with some of the additions. Backdoor cut, Worley half foot on the line. Turnover for Florida State right out of the gate. And Coach Ham's got to be happy, 35% so far from behind the arc. But really, Ari, just getting better looks, not forcing shots when they have guys to rotate in. I feel like you give your all for those couple minutes. Curious as to what Kennesaw State might do to make some adjustments for more on Antoine Petway's thoughts at halftime. Here's Alex. Guys, we... Guys, I spoke with... I spoke with Coach Antoine Petway coming out of the locker room, and I asked him what his thoughts were. He said that he felt that the team came out with great energy at first, but then the size and length and strength of Florida State started getting to them. So now he just wants his team to make better shot selections and control the possession when they have it. And on defense, he wants it man-to-man. -man. He wants it to be tight and intense as it's been the whole time. So he's pleased with that. He just wants it to stay focused. Yeah, defensively going to be the key, no doubt for Kennesaw State. They left Green Jr. open for three, and he made them pay yet again. Another bullseye from beyond the arc. Yeah, if there's one man you can't leave open, it's Darren Green. He showed it time and time again tonight. But again, that's the open looks that Florida State is creating by getting back to their offense, getting back to the scheme that they want to run. Darren Green now over 300 made threes in his career. He's got three more tonight. Adding to that mark, here he is, 22 on his back. Miller has been quiet so far. Baba Miller turning lefty low, couldn't finish on the finger roll attempt. It was knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with FSU. Baba Miller, a unique prospect, helped Spain to a U19 FIBA World Cup championship this summer. 11 points in the title game against France. And it's a guy, again, who hadn't been a seminal consistently, especially last season, had to miss the first 16 games. He said it's been a huge difference for him this year. Yeah, it's hard to get acclimated when you're missing half the season. Obviously still practicing, but getting up to game speed. Now Baba, get, as you said, Aria, gets that experience again over the summer. He comes out tonight, only three shots. He said he's been quiet, but he's got that build. The NBA 
tendencies as well, the length. I mean, he stretches the floor just with his shooting. He's going to be special this year for Florida State. Here's Worley on the turn. They're not going to count the basket on the floor, says Roger Ayers. He said it was a, a dream come true for him, did Baba Miller, about winning the U19 World Cup with Spain. And you're seeing that international flair come into the NBA more and more. We asked him, give us your top players in the NBA. He said, you got to go Nikola Jokic first. And Luka. And Giannis. Those were his top three. Watkins shot rattles out. How about the ball pressure from Worley, 90 feet from the basket. That's Florida State basketball for you right there. Sherman, three ball, too strong, rebound, Miller. His third rebound of the night. Calls his own number and leaves it long. Last touch, though, by King. It'll stay with FSU. But that's what you got to love to see from your 6'11 forward. Be able to grab the rebound, push it the length of the floor, and attempt to step back three. That's a shot that he can make as well. He said it, a unicorn of a prospect. Still developing all the intangibles to take it to the next level. Florida State shooting 47% from the floor. Corin from the feed. From Watkins, connects there from about the free throw line, logo area, Cam Corrin. Was thrown into the fire last season for Florida State, maybe before he was ready, but he gained valuable minutes because of it. Yeah, became the full-time center by December, was not expected to play that role so early. But you said it, Aria, that's how you grow as a freshman, getting that experience early on is paying dividends already this year. The length of FSU causing problems, Green misses the three. That's a great look, Florida State transitioning from defense to offense. Now Burden, one of the quickest players in the A-Sun. Left that short, Worley grabs the board and uh, tumbles down, foul called. And it'll be on 25. It's uh, Gordon. Just gets the arm in as Worley's trying to corral that rebound. But that's Kennesaw State in a nutshell. Getting it in transition, attacking the basket. Their best shooters will spread to the corners and spread out. They'll look to kick it out and make the three. It's just unfortunate for the Owls tonight. Two of 16 from behind the arc. Last season, that was Florida State's enemy for a lot of the season as Worley was looking for Miller. Not on the same page. Not enough in sync on the pass either. A foul now called on Miller, but the Seminoles in ACC play, team shot better than 40% from beyond the arc against the Knowles. That's tough. Not much you can do when teams are shooting that well. But you've seen a, a change in the second half, a little more pressure, full court pressure from the Seminoles. Coach Ham said it to Alex right before halftime that that's what they're doing. They're driving downhill. They're trying to push it. Seminoles trying to limit that pace and tempo just a bit. Johnson took Worley inside, and the Seminole guard guilty of the foul. Johnson playing bully ball all night. Haven't seen him much from three-point land, but attacking the glass, using his body to his advantage. Johnson can't connect. On the free throw, but he did connect here, Jack. This is a hammer. How about that, R.J. Johnson? Your first game as an owl in front of the home crowd. Shows it off. It's got to be a good feeling waking up the next morning and seeing your number six in top ten. Missed both free throws. Knowles by 20. In control here in the second half, Warley. To Corin. Worley on the drive, hammered by Johnson. It will be a shooting foul, and so Worley back to the line. Seems like Jalen Worley has been in control of this seminal offense here tonight. 
has really had a good grip on the game. He's had a really good grip on the game, and you saw flashes of it last year, started the season off really well, not turning the ball over, kind of changed as the season went along, but again, a candidate to break out in the ACC. He has the length from a point guard's perspective, but Florida State's got a lot of guards they can rotate and sub in, so having Jalen Worley step up and play that pick and roar game especially, See it right there, assist to turnover, seventh in the ACC. This is a guy coming out of high school, played with Derek Lively, one of the top prospects now in the NBA, ran that pick and roll game. Seminoles like to do that a lot offensively. Trying to force the turnover here, long deflections, long norms. Miller, a timeout called by Kennesaw State. Robinson was able to save his teammate there. So we'll take a break as well. Florida State leading. His paths crossed with Leonard Hamilton at Florida State a couple of times on the recruiting trail. For more on that, we welcome back Alex. Guys, we did talk to him about that earlier this week. We said, Petway, what is your experience with Coach Leonard Hamilton? He said, I've only seen him on a road a couple of times. I know we've been in recruiting battles when he was at Alabama. Coach Hamilton here at FSU. Petway said he never won, but he's so honored to be across from the sideline from him tonight. He is a legendary dude in the words of Petway he said that he's an outstanding person and the things he's done to, in coaching is second to none. So he's excited to be here today in Florida State's house. Yeah, without a doubt, said after Cottle's layup, by the way, said he battled a lot with Dennis Gates, CY, Charlton Young for Florida State. A couple of assistants who are now over at Mizzou as Miller buries the three from that corner. Now there's Johnson on the flush, oh baby! Wow, R.J. Johnson again. Showing off that strength at the rim. Shades of a Sports Center top 10 yam from earlier in the week. Some fireworks now here in Tally. Early portion of this second half. Watkins wants another three. That one's short. And the rebound to Kennesaw State. Florida State's hit eight triples so far in this game. Shooting nearly 40% from beyond the arc. Gordon. Not able to, to bury that one from beyond the arc, and now FSU will slow things down. Slow things down indeed. Leading by 21 points, no reason to push. Settle into your offense, and as Coach Ham has insisted, move the ball around, find the open man. Here's Watkins turning, facing, finds Corin easy too. quickly turned back over. That's what you want to see, Jameer Watkins on that previous possession. He said he's listed as a forward, but playing a, a good amount of point guard early on for Florida State. For him to be able, be able to do that and fill in that role, be important for the Seminoles down the road. Now Watkins turning, alley-oop! And Miller knew exactly what to do with it, bringing it down. There's Baba. Starting to wake up in this second half. A couple of buckets and a dunk. Yeah, Florida State's defense, the activity, has been so energetic here in the second half. Now getting the Kennesaw State defense to collapse. Our big holiday sale. Bomba, give the good. Seminoles leading by 25, an FSU team again. They went 9-23 last season. After making four consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament, they've missed the last two. A team that not too long made the Elite Eight and Sweet 16 and back-to-back -back seasons. Sandwiched in between that. Jack, it's a program that won the ACC regular season championship. Many people believing, depending on who you ask, some swear by it. That that 2020 COVID year, FSU was making a Final Four. A lot swear by, especially here in Tallahassee. But when you got a coach with the pedigree of Leonard Hamilton, anything is possible. That's for sure. And as we've mentioned time and time again tonight, having those 11 to 12 guys to be able to run the rotations and get back to vintage Florida State basketball, I think tonight may be a taste for Knowles fans of what's to come this season. Nice pass. Nickelberry wide open, buries a three. That's what he's there to do. Knockdown threes, 40% shooter a year ago at LaSalle. The A-10 sixth man of the year. And that's the ninth three of the game for Florida State tonight. 
Yeah, two for three for Nickelberry. Tonight, efficient score and a great addition to come off the bench. Bull Bowen wants one himself. Oh, nearly bricked it, but he's going to claim that was a pass to Cam Fletcher on the putback. How about the hustle from Fletcher saying he threw it off and he did, Jack. Will get rewarded for the hustle. Another look, Bull Bowen, the freshman, getting up, making it happen. On one end, and on the other side, Cam Fletcher sneaking around, but how about the three from Josh Nickelberry? Florida State much healthier than they were a season ago, but that doesn't mean that they're not without some issues this season. Jalen Ganey still trying to work his way back, preparing his ACL last October in the preseason. As Bull Bowen, you see what makes him so talented. Long, lengthy, athletic. He moves so well. About 6'10", Euro stepping on the baseline. He said it already. He moves so well. There's a reason why he was a top 100 recruit. He moves like a guard. You saw it right there. And we'll see it again. Just picks up the rebound. A little whoop right underneath. Bull Bowen. Another good pickup. They like to see the reaction from the bench. His first points of his seminal career on that drive. A whistle. Is there a technical foul issue here? Yes, indeed. Kennesaw State, a technical foul assessed. So Nickelberry will get a pair of free throws. Can't make the first. Was told earlier that the technical was given against Rangi Gordon. For Rangi, it came in the first half after he said something to Roger Ayers. This technical, this one given to Antoine Petway, the head coach. So Roger Ayers just came over to tell us. Second technical given in this game to Kennesaw State. So Rangi Gordon earlier in the first half and now Antoine Petway. Frustrations and energy shown from the Owls, but a lot of that's just the passion. They know the capabilities they can play to. How about the level Florida State has turned up a notch on here in the second half? They brought the energy. I think we saw it in shoot around. They were confident showing off. Yeah, Jack, this is shades of a Florida State team from a few seasons ago. I guess we now have a look on the foul. You Fletcher go back to the line. Yeah, you see it after with Fletcher. Up big. Still working, still hustling. Fletcher's just been doing the little things all night. No struggling from the free throw line here tonight. Maybe one area that you can nitpick. Big block, but a foul called on Green, Deontay Green. It has been a 13-0 run for FSU to blow this thing open. And the Owls are hoping, maybe with a free throw, to snap a near four-minute scoring drought. Jack, doesn't this kind of feel like Florida State of old? And it looks, it definitely does. The energy building. Inside the tuck. I mean, it's one game. It is one by game. By no means is this the toughest opponent of the season. By no means is anyone claiming Florida State back. But especially. But this is far more the DNA of the way Leonard Hamilton has played in the past. And especially how they started last season. Expectations still were high. It was a slow start. Some surprising losses. But now to come out firing on all cylinders. Only one score, Darren Green Jr. in double figures. So they spread the ball around. Hasn't just been one person. Fletcher calls his own number. That rims out from beyond the arc. Good look there for Fletcher. As Bowen, a blaze down the middle of the lane. He's fouled. He goes down hard. It's been the theme all night, though. Kennesaw State wants to get downhill, attack the basket, but check out one Suku and the leadership that he brings to the table. The Knowles haven't had a chance to enjoy for two seasons. Oh, yeah. I mean, he really fits the build, does Ganey, when you take a look at him. 
And he's a guy that showed it off in the Ivy League, but it's been fortunate the Seminoles tonight. They've had multiple guys converging on the paint in that person that's going down and attacking the basket, making it hard. They got five blocks on the night. But again, get picking up a guy like Jalen Ganey, adding it to Cam Corrin and Deontay Green, and the development of Taylor Bold Bowen. Future is bright in Tallahassee. Now Jackson. And Fletcher. Nickelberry. Screen set. Rolls running some action. Green. Big body down low. Nice move with the left hand. That rims out. Fletcher, the energy, the activity on the glass. Keeps it with FSU. How much did FSU miss Cameron Fletcher a season ago? Oh, a lot. You see in the hustle just throughout the last couple of minutes. He's making his presence known. Again, he's doing all the little things. He's hustling, rebounding, finding his teammates. It's what he does off the ball, Cam Fletcher, that makes him special. Cam told us earlier this week, look, I felt like I was getting to be the best version of myself right before the injury hit. And that was the most disappointing part. Dowell's down the other way. Three ball. Right wing, no good. Rebound. Bold bow in the long arms of the freshman. He's a great story as well. Was born in a refugee camp in Egypt. His parents escaping from the Second Civil War in Sudan. Was taken in by a family in Vermont, him and his two siblings. As Green connects there, but now Bull Bowen, a brighter future. And maybe a bright basket basketball career as well. Coddle on the attack. Oh, Green called for a foul. Yeah, really incredible story is Taylor Bull Bowen. Living up in Vermont, he grew up ice skating and in the snow, but he says he likes the warm a little bit more, so Tallahassee been a good fit for him thus far. And he'll be a good player for Coach Ham. Random stats that are wonderful that Chuck Walsh finds. His hometown in Vermont is the first place that the first known picture of a snowflake was ever taken. It's pretty cool. Things you would never even care to look up. But Chuck Walsh got the job done. He's the man. As he always does. And so if nothing else, Taylor Bull Bowen has that. He does. The good news is he's really good at basketball. He is pretty good at basketball. I would definitely say that. And again, just so typical to a lot of the prospects that Coach Hamilton brings to Tallahassee. Just crazy length in guys that don't play like they should for their position. Yeah, Florida State's highest ranked recruit brought in this season. The Knowles forcing turnovers, 15 of them. Coach Ham said that's an area we've got to get back to. So we've got to create off the dribble offensively, share the basketball. We're a work in progress in that area. A late foul called on the drive. Kennesaw State's going to get a couple of shots. Yeah, we'll get Cam Corrin for the foul. Todd Robinson was asking for that after the play. Be two free throws for the senior. Quiet night for Robinson. Six points, nine rebounds, two of seven from the floor. The Knowles have done a really nice job of neutralizing him. He's got a chance to be the conference player of the year. I mean, he is a beast down low. One of the catalysts for the program will, will be a linchpin here for Antoine Petway as he tries to establish the new DNA, the building blocks of what his culture will look like. Now you see at the top two scores, both Burden and Robinson, only 15 points combined for them tonight. So it's been a great job from the Seminoles shutting them down. There's Nickelberry. Got tripped up on the baseline. And forces it into a turnover. Now the other way. Deflection. Leads to an open three for Cottle. He can shoot it, he can stroke it, and he can bury it. Simeon Cottle, third three of the night. He has looked the best on this Owls roster through just about one and a half games so far. Just playing with confidence. 
what, 16 points? Oh, what a play by Corin. No foul calls. Stick back by Bull Bowen is there. That was a good move from Cam Corin. Good to have Taylor Bull Bowen waiting. And then Corin guilty of a foul on the low block. Another look, Cottle, a few steps behind the line. No hesitation, 50% for him tonight. Three of six from three-point land. 16 points against Oakwood and 16 points again tonight. Sherman misses the free throw, the freshman. From Lakenton, Georgia, Grovetown High School. Double-double. His debut in an owl uniform on Tuesday, 12 points, 10 rebounds. Good size, long arms. Kind of like what he brings to the table. Yeah, had that big dunk early on tonight. And you said it, double-double. Another player, Coach Petway, says he's got to look out for this season, especially as the Owls get into conference play. He could be a key piece for Kennesaw State. Been all Florida State here tonight. A strong start. A team who lost to Stetson last year in the season opener. A stunning look at what the season was going to eventually turn into. Here's Adebisi. Worley. Much too big for Burton. Easy play. That was a question tonight. You see Jalen Worley, the 6'9 wingspan on 5'11, Terrell Burton. Difficult for him all night. Jalen Worley, good little cut inside and rises up. Nothing Terrell Burden could do. Easy buck. short both teams struggling from the free throw line the preseason always son team member the conference tourney MVP from one season ago burden able to split at the line eight points for him tonight he's just one of nine from the four though has made his living from the charity strike six free throws now green he's worked on that jumper there couldn't connect just for how Kennesaw State wants to play. Three for 19 from three. Now three of 20. It's tough. It's the analytical mindset from Antoine Petway. Shots inside and behind the arc. Out of easy on the miss. Had a clear look. You know his teammates want him to get into the book. Now this game has kind of lost its groove. Bodies flying everywhere. Both teams still giving a ton of energy. And a foul is called out of the game. Now so far, five points, a three, a dunk in the second half. Making more plays, but you said it. A really cool story and a reminder at all times for Miller every time he looks at her jersey, why he's here and what he's playing for. It was cool to talk to him and shoot around and in the pregame warm-ups. A lot of these men's basketball players were on hand last night as Florida State's women's basketball team knocked off Tennessee, 11th ranked volunteers in a 92-91 thriller. Baba Miller, Darren Green Jr. as that foul is called on house. They said that was uh, an excellent basketball game. Darren Green joked and said, I, I need Omaria Gordon to shake my hand so I can make some threes tonight. But that love between the men's and women's programs at Florida State, part of the family culture here in Tallahassee. And you see Baba Miller, a number of his teammates, Jalen Worley was in attendance, a number of the football players were in attendance, Jordan Travis, Jared Verse, Trey Benson, all watching Brooke Wyckoff get one of the biggest wins in her tenure at FSU. Really big win for that program and Brooke Wyckoff. Athletics all around at Florida State, doing well as of late, but maybe Gordon did shake Darren Green's hand. He is 50% from three tonight. Yeah, both had three threes in their respective games. That free throw, knocked down by Burton. Second one, no good. Oh. 
Turnover down low. Worley, though, active hands, recovers it for FSU. Kick out to House. Swing pass, Junior. Three, not going to make it. They call him DG3. He's got 18, sitting on that for a while. Pretty Jaylen solid night as a whole. Yeah, Jalen Worley just active with the hands, too, to get that ball back and another possession for Florida State. Watkins couldn't hit. Nice drive, nice finish for Cottle. Yeah, Simeon Cottle, he showed it off at the cup behind the arc all night. Tied for the game lead, game high. Scoring 18 now for Cottle. Leonard Hamilton takes a timeout. And open up things. Yeah, Florida State last season, 9 and 23. We mentioned that already a couple times, but they showed flashes. Back to back wins against Notre Dame and Pitt. Showed what this team could be. Darren Green was hitting on all cylinders. Chandler Jackson came into his own, stunning Miami and Coral Gables. Essentially ruining the Canes' chance for a regular season ACC championship. The Knowles have had too many moments and not enough consistency as House can't finish shot the three. Hit three of them in the first half. The drive blocked by Miller. He doesn't like the call. Foul. As Sherman went up with two hands. Yeah, it's a good cut from Sherman. Worley tried to intercept the pass. Sherman just gonna go back door on him. Miller thought it might not have got him on the arm and nicked him on the elbow. That yeah, looked like Miller might have knocked him with the elbows before the block. So Sherman knocks down the free throw. A lot of free throws in this game. Now 45 combined shot by the two teams here this evening. Up next for Florida State. They take on Central Michigan on Monday. The team out of the MAC. Jack, you, myself, Alexandra, we'll all be back for that one. Then they go on the road and play the Florida Gator Gators in Gainesville. That is, that's going to be a tough matchup early season on the road. Some hard tests for the Seminoles, especially playing that rival in Florida. Always a good battle between both of those teams. And then after that, Sunshine Slam. It's a UNLV team that's been up and down, just lost to Southern a couple nights ago. And then Georgia and UNC. So the next five are tough, still getting work in. Are the Seminoles starters out? Trying to clean up some things. As the schedule starts to ramp up just a little bit. Worley misses the free throw. That UNLV game is actually a part of the uh, tournament in Daytona Beach. So the Knowles will play at least two games down there. The Central Michigan game on Monday is an unofficial on-campus game for the Daytona Jam. And the Knowles, of course, will play that ACC-SEC challenge against Georgia, replacing the ACC Big Ten challenge. That is no longer in effect. The ACC and SEC men's and women's now will be playing for a number of years. That'll be broadcasted here on ESPN. Things getting a little bit sloppy now for both sides. Florida State over their last seven. 5.50 to play. King fires off the triple. He put back. Not there, the third effort not there, and then a foul on Corin. Second chances, third chances for Kennesaw State on that possession. A little more fight on the glass. Buckets have not been able to fall for the Owls tonight. Mont Robinson getting in there, fighting around. See Corin with a swat. And a foul. But a tale of two halves. Kennesaw State seemed in the first. They could maybe fight their way back. Their style of play and Florida State just came out on another level, a different tempo in the second half. Made it difficult for the Owls to come back. Jackson back in for Orley.
82-56 after a couple of free throws by Robinson. He's into double figures. He's got a double-double. 10 points now, 12 rebounds. Perfect from the line, six for six. Three ball, launch, bang. That's Cam Fletcher. He said it before, Aria, starting to work on that style, that part of his game last season. It'll be big for Cam Fletcher. Starts putting him from behind the arc. Yeah, no doubt about that. It's Burton through the lane. He's now in the double figures with 11. Corin, nice power move and the finish with the dominant right hands. Corin now in double figures. That classic Florida State spreading out all four other guys out on the perimeter, opening up the space for Corin down low. Nice move there by Jamel King to create the space, hang in the air and hit the West Virginia transfer with four in the contest. House physical drive couldn't finish. And then Green swats it out. A block. Only attempt from Sherman. Fresh substitutions for Florida State. And it'll make Leonard Hamilton happy. Nobody's played more than 25 minutes so far tonight. That's Darren Green's team high. Last season. Especially towards the end, far too many times, Leonard Hamilton said that he had to have guys play between 38 and sometimes 40 whole minutes, no rest, just because of the injuries and lack of depth. Especially for how Coach Ham wants to play with that high intensity at all times. It's tough, for especially for shooters, to keep that going. Seminoles, late in the second, up big. Seminole sound grooving, having a good time. Played happy birthday to Tom House. A career high, nine points for him tonight. Career high, three triples. And season openers are Tom House's thing. Had nine against Stetson last season, nine more tonight. And Robinson misses the mark badly from three. The layup. On the finish. It was Burton. Sticking it back in and for Burton, 13 points here tonight. Most minutes he's played this season, just 10 against Oakwood on Tuesday. Nickelberry behind the back dribble. Good recovery there from King. Inside Fletcher. High off the glass and in. Cam Fletcher in the double figures now with 11 points to go along with five rebounds. Great to see for Fletcher just backing down, using his body. Three Seminoles now in double figures. How about that three from Johnson? Wow. Way down, Tom. First three of the night for Johnson. We've seen the success for him down low in the paint. Freshman can score on all levels. He'll be a problem in the ASUN. Jackson, three ball, count it. Love that from Chandler Jackson, no hesitation. Deontay Green backing down, creating space, finds Jackson. Didn't think twice. House now pushing the pace. Nickelberry to Fletcher. He wants the three, that rattles out. Trying to stay with it, he does. Behind the back dribble, he goes down. And Johnson rejected there. I think Green's gonna get credit for the block and a foul on Burton, 208 to play. Florida State nearing the century mark here now. Just eight shy of 100. Yeah, three and double figures for the Knowles, but wanna credit Deontay Green. Have seen him tonight, a couple blocks. For the sophomore, that's been the importance, as we said, no Jalen Ganey. Maybe a few more weeks, so the play of Deontay Green, Camp Corrin, Taylor Bull, Bowen, those guys in the paint at the rim, be a focal point as well on defense for Coach Ham. 
So Nickelberry, nine points, looking to get into double figures. Oh, he missed that one. The Seminoles, the one knock on them this evening. 60% from the free throw line, 15 of 25. They've been very good defensively. Bowen was looking for Nickelberry. That would, have been special. that would have been special. Your 6'10 forward throwing the oop to the guard. It's pretty cool seeing him run the floor, but that will probably be the one thing Coach Ham, as you said, Aria, from the charity stripe. Got to improve there. After ball pinballed around, it'll be FSU basketball. We talked about Florida State, Kennesaw State. Upcoming, they've got a game against Kaiser, then an in-state battle against Georgia Southern, and then a game against Northeastern. As it is officially time to celebrate the victory. Hard-earned minutes in practice turn into minutes in games. BC. Oh, he had an open look. It was a great pass from Spanauer. Look over to the Seminole bench and Stan Jones, Florida State's associate head coach, points at Spanauer and says, throw that one up. Get it high above the rim for Adabisi to go get. You see Adabisi in their pregame warm-ups. His head's going over the rim. That's a good call from Stan Jones. Nice move from Johnson. Thoughts on both of these teams? Florida State, State win in their home opener, especially as we said from last year. A lot to like and look forward to, especially as you add more pieces down the road with Jalen Ganey and Primo Spears, hopefully add it back to the rotation. And Kennesaw State, your first test under head coach Antoine Petway. You kind of see what you've got facing a team like Florida State out of AC. How about that? Sola out of BC, former scout team player for the Florida State women's basketball program. He's on the board. You learn a lot, though, if you're Kennesaw State from a game like this. Absolutely. This is a team that is projected and will compete, and the A-Sun can certainly make a run back to that tournament final and the NCAA tournament. But lots of like an Anton Petway squad. But slowly but surely. At a BC again, open, not ready for it. Turnover on Florida State. Spain hours had some good looks here late. How about that? At a BC makes it easy. A two-handed slam. Florida State, the depth on display. Back to their old selves, at least for tonight. An opening night victory over Kennesaw State, dominating fashion for Leonard Hamilton and the Knowles.